Hello and welcome back to another video. So, um, I had this idea of, an, of a theory for a while and I've not really made a video on it and I thought, eh, might as well. Um, so, Pokemon Legends Arceus, where are the people, like the native people of Sinnoh? Like, Sinnoh is, you know, is where the universe start, you know, where all the reality started, is where, like, Arceus hatched from this egg. You'd think that, you know, the pe we'd be seeing more people in the Sinnoh, so, uh, but I've actually got a fear for that. Uh, first, we need to establish when Legends Arceus is taking place. Thanks to this image, we uh, know it must be uh, during the Industrial Revolution, because this is clearly a Galarian wheezing, uh, as it is when Galarian Reason first appeared. So, this is taking place either during or shortly after the Industrial Revolution, which, uh, if you compare it to, to what happened in real life, then, yeah, that does make sense, because in real life, um, the mainland, well, the main area of Japan did sort of start settling and colonising uh, Sinnoh, in real, the real life Sinnoh in the, the Industrial Revolution, during the Industrial Revolution. So um, that sort of lines up with uh, real life. Um, uh, but Sinnoh is far less developed than all other regions at this point in time, meaning that uh, there are either few, few or no native Sinnohians, uh, I can't, uh, or Hisuians, or his, his, Hisui. I'm just going to call it Sinnoh because it's e way easier to pronounce, um, left, uh, but uh, how and why? Well, I think to find the answer to that, we must go back to Gen 4 with Diamond, Pearl and Platinum. Which would make sense, this being Legends Arceus and it is based on the Sinnoh region of, you know, of generations of Diamond, Pearl and Platinum, so... Makes sense that we would find the answer back here. Veilstone Myths. Veilstone myth, Japanese uh, Tobari's myth, a, uh, is about a young swordsman, you know, blah, blah, uh, a young man, ca callow and foolish in uh, innocence, came to a to own a sword. With it, he smote Pokemon, uh, which gave uh, sustenance uh, with uh, carefree abandon. Uh, those are not taken as food. He discarded with no all afterthought. The following year, no Pokemon appeared. La Ladders grew bare. The young man, seeking the missing Pokemon, journeyed after longer did he search, and far and wide too, until one he did find. Asked he, why do you hide? To which the Pokemon replied, if you bear your sword to bring harm upon us, with claws and fangs we will extract a toll. From your kind we will take our toll, for it must be done. Done it must be to guard ourselves, and for it I apologise. To the skies the young man shout his dismay. In having found the sword I have lost so much. Gorge with power and the uh, grew blind to Pokemon being alive. I will never fall a savage again. The sword I denounce and forsake. I uh, plead for forgiveness for I was but a fool. So saying the young man, he held the sword to the ground, snapping it. Seeing this, the Pokemon disappeared uh, to a place beyond seeing. So my theory is that Legends Arceus takes place after this event, and what we don't see in this folklore is the consequences of this man's actions. Like it even says here, um, which I forgot when writing this, um, if you obey your sword to bear harm against us with claws and fangs, we will extract a toll. From your kind, we will extract our toll, for it must be done. So, it's not like we have extracted our toll, we will extract our toll. So, at this point in time, the Pokemon are going to extract a toll on his kind, uh, our kind, the human kind. Um, it is my belief that uh, 
because of his actions, wild Pokemon became hostile towards people, attacking them in the wild, like we see in the Legends Arceus trailer, and attacking human settlements. Again, extracting a, a toll. Um, um, pushing the native humans to near extinction, with few human settlements left in hard to reach areas like Snow Point and Celestic Town and that it will be our goal to fix the relationship between humans and Pokemon. Um, and the reason why I name Snowpoint and Celestic Town in particular is because those two have the, are the oldest in all of Sinnoh so far I can remember. Um, and they are in the most hard, and they are in the hardest, most out of reach areas to get to. Um, so, meaning that a bigger Pokemon like Beartick, um, not Beartick, mind you, that's, if Beartick was in Sinnoh, it, uh, Snowpoint would be sh uh, shit out of luck, but, um, such as Ursaring and Garchomp, so they're not going to be uh, able to get up that high, like, in Snowpoint, you're just going to be facing with, like, Snow Runs, um, Snowvers, and the rare occasional Obama Snow. Um, but I don't really see those Pokemon being super hostile, and in Celestic Town you're just going to be dealing with, like, beard Pokemon, which beards in real life don't really tend to attack humans, unless, like, gulls or, like, it's very rare that beards attack humans, so it's just like, I don't really see, um, Celestic Town really having too much trouble with the beard Pokemon. Um, so, those two towns, I, uh, because of their ancient past, I believe, are going to be the two towns that are actually existing in Legends Arceus, and I don't know if they are going to outright, you know, refer back to this myth. It would be super cool if they did, but, and it, I wouldn't be super surprised, uh, because Legends Arceus is taking more of a darker tone than most Pokemon games, so it would not surprise me if they were like, um, Long ago, this guy got a sword and went around killing Pokemon, and the Pokemon have now, uh, uh, have, have now, like, enacting their revenge upon mankind for his actions. Like, I would not be surprised, but they would be, I doubt it, but it would be super cool, um, but whether or not they do reference it, unless there's something else that directly co contradicts this theory that comes out when the Legends of Arceus comes out, then, um, this is just my personal headcanon, it's like, yeah, this guy went around killing Pokemon, and that's why there's, um, that's why there's probably only going to be Snowpoint and Celestic Town left, uh, because they have the, uh, longest history out of any of the Sinner Towns, like, if, if, even, like, if you really look at the Sinner Towns, not all of them really have a deep history, like, um, Snow Point and Celestic Town are the only two towns that are outright stated to have a long history. Um, at least from what I can remember. Um, I'm not going to read the uh, Bulbapedia article on every Sinnoh you know, town. That, that would just take way too long and I don't have the motivation to do so, really, because I don't like reading. Um... So yeah. Um, also, um, if you if you look here, uh, he he asked why did you hide? To which the Pokemon replied. So the Pokemon in this story were talking. Now that is extremely rare. Rare like there is no not. It has not stated that Pokemon and humans used to speak the same language at all. Like not even in the other uh, myths of Sinnoh. So. Um, perhaps, um, this was Arceus, like, uh, I was, I just noticed this down here, because I thought of this this morning. Arceus is one of the few Pokemon to canonically be able to talk to humans, like, the only other Pokemon that are able to do that are, like, um, Mewtwo, uh, Psychic-type Pokemon in some, on some, uh, Circumstances, Anime Team Rockets, Meowth, Shaman, 
uh, in the anime, um, uh, I think Genesect in the anime was able to talk to him. Yeah, basically, um, there's not a ton of Pokemon that can talk to humans, mostly just like mythicals and legendaries. Um, uh, so my, uh, and, and something else I was thinking here, Arceus was, I don't think he was the Pokemon that was talking to the human, but he, like, took over the Pokemon's mind, or tr at least translated, the, so, you know, was basically translating what the Pokemon said, so the human could d understand what the Pokemon was saying. Um, so, that's why Arceus is, like, enraging the Pokemon, it's just like, um, to help them, um, extract the toll up from the humans to essentially get the revenge and I think uh, we need to like prove that we that humans mean Pokemon no harm uh, to either the Pokemon in, in an area one at a time and eventually work your way up to Arceus or just prove it to Arceus by working with your Pokemon to defeat him in a battle or something um, and I think, yeah, I again, I don't think they'll directly reference uh, or n name drop this myth, um, drop this myth in the game, but I, f I really think this, uh, the, what, what we know right now, this really does line up quite well. Um, the only thing I can think of is like some people may be like, but Arceus is God, he knows, every well, Yes, he is God, but it's not stated that Arceus is all-knowing. Heck, we have even have examples of him not being all-knowing in the anime. In the anime, Arceus was tricked and trapped and almost defeated by the dude, I can't remember his name, um, who was being brain mind-controlled by the other guy. Um, Arceus did not know any of that. Um, and, and that's one timeline, and another timeline, he Arceus did manage to escape and then come back later on it to enact his revenge. So Arceus already has a history of being vengeful. Um, but, um, yeah, he then did you know that Dialga, one of his children basically, was sending uh, um, Ash and friends back in time. So he did not even know that, so... Arceus is far from all knowing, so it would be fair to assume that Arceus does not know um, that humans aren't a threat to Pokemon. Maybe he was very isolated, uh, like maybe like he stayed in his own dimension until um, he sensed that humans were colonizing Sinnoh uh, uh, once again so he he worked together or maybe like um, one of the um, colonizers attacked a Pokemon and the, the, then you know as he's like here heard like the Pokemon crying out for help so he came to help them or something like that and we have to um, prove like may, um, the main lady is like based off Cyrus maybe she, um, was, you know, was, like, attacking wild Pokemon, and we have to take her down to prove to Arceus that we are not a threat to Pokemon, um, or something like that, like, um, I don't know exactly what we're gonna have to do, what we'd have to do to prove to Arceus that humans aren't a threat to Pokemon, or we don't want to harm Pokemon, or whatever, but I really feel like this, from what we know right now, this is what Legends Arceus is going for and how it's going to play out. Um, and yeah, so tell me, what do you think? Do you think that, you know, um, this is this is how Legends Arceus is going to play out? Or do you think it's going to play out some other different way? Or um, do you think that me using a, using Veilstone as myth um, as the foundation of this theory uh, being very, being shaky at best, um, seeing as how it's just a myth that's in, uh, that isn't even stated by any main character, it's just in a book in a library, and it's very unlikely that the, uh, Legends Arceus team actually drew inspiration from this myth, 
to base the game off or you know tell me what do you think uh i really want to know and you know i read every comment because in my my channel's not big enough for me to be like eh, i can't be i should be comments um but you, uh and if i don't reply to your comment in a timely fashion i do apologize youtube isn't very good at giving out notifications for when you do get comments so uh i just check every now and then and it's like okay yeah that's comment and then if if there's a comment i want to reply to i reply to it um but yeah um i'll see you guys in the next video or live stream or whatever i decide to do and bye bye